We have Fall Fest at Faith Bridge because it's such a great way to bring in people to introduce them to Faith Bridge and to Jesus without them really feeling like they ever have to step foot in a church. They'll come just to have fun and our hope is that while they're here, they'll in some way see what we're really all about. Fall Fest is fun. I love to see all the kids that we know and love come in their costumes. I love the chance to get to see kids who we don't know and just no strings attached, just give them loads of candy and tell them that Jesus loves them. Free food and candy, like who doesn't love that? I'm Andy and this is Kim Rittenhouse. We've been, we, we started, first started attending about eight years ago. She was anxious to get involved in the church. I, I was not. Um, at that point, I really didn't have a relationship uh, with Christ. The Fall Festival, it wasn't like going into a church. It was an event and it just happened to be on the church grounds. And, and so it wasn't as intimidating, um, I guess you could say. Was you know going to a church was the last place I would ever think I would you know I was I was I was like come on really are we gonna go to a church for a Halloween party? Some of these people would not ever step foot into a church, and when they see what kind of people we are, that we're real, and that we love them, they'll come back. The way everyone welcomed us in, especially like because um, by that time we had a two-year-old daughter and just the way that everyone was saying hi and greeting us and everything um, just felt like home, I yeah. think. Just watching them interact, Kelly and Sharon and Abby and the way they interacted with Addison, it was a feeling I can't explain. It was, is when we left there, I wanted more. I think, well, for me, the next step was, um, you know, actually attending uh, every Sunday. And, and it was, of course, we started in the balcony. <laughs> And, you know, we stayed, <laughs> we stayed there for a little while, and then we found ourselves going downstairs and slowly moving towards the front. And I volunteered to do a Sunday, helping out in the kids' ministry. And through that is really where my relationship grew, and, and this became a home. And, and that's what the kids' ministry has been about. I've learned as much, and it's been as big of a uh, thing for me as it has been for our kids. There are countless families who have come to Faith Bridge uh, to an outreach reach event and have become uh, regular tenders or members here. Even now today, you know, Addison, she's in her last year of kids ministry. She, you know, next year she goes to student ministry and so she's grown up here at the church and, and it's, it's never stopped. You know, the, the way they loved on our children from day one is, is the way they still do when we show up today. Outreach events are a lot of work, but I think that after it's over and you uh, talk about the ways that you saw God move during that time, like it certainly makes all the work up until then worth it. And then if you get to see them come back on Sundays, well, that makes it really worth it. The reason that we're having Fall Fest at the Woodlands this year is because that's a whole new community that we're making lots of efforts to reach. Being out at the Woodlands, I had six weeks of um, being able to go out there and um, help get that started. And I can see now why the, having the Fall Festival out there would, you know, reach out to the community there where it has here. You know, let them have an experience of what Faith Ridge is about. It's, you know, just yep. real life, real people, and just getting together. Outreach events just like this are what FaithBridge used um, way at the very beginning, even when we were meeting at CLEB, to draw in the community, to let the community know that we're here. And so it's our hope that as we do this um, near and around our Woodlands campus, um, it'll be just as effective.